When you're designing, most of the time, usually you have these tedious tasks of repeating elements and usually you have to create those elements separately, but using Adobe XD, we have this amazing feature called the repeat grid, which is going to enable us to create all of those different elements really quickly and without any hustle. So to do that, I'm simply going to click on the artboard, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and to make a new one, basically. So I'm going to delete this except for the original button and I click right here. Maybe I can place this right here and I can use the rectangle tool. I can simply click and create this selection to create an image and I can select all three and simply click right here to distribute them vertically. And I'm going to simply change this color to here, remove the border. And right, uh, what I want to do right here is include an image. So I have these images right here in my folder on my other screen. I'm simply going to drag and drop an image right here. And it's going to populate that uh, rectangle tool that I already created. And I can simply select everything you see right here. Hit Control G and I'm going to call that, for example, card because that's going to be our card. I can double click on this text to bring it in just a touch like so and maybe I can place it just here and I can select all three and simply click right here to distribute them evenly. Now what I want is to make a duplicate of it so in the past what you usually have to do is you have to make a duplicate so you have to hit Control D for example and you have to position it like so maybe I want to make another copy so like so but using Adobe XD is really important all you have to do is simply make a click on that selection click on this repeat grid and simply you have these bars right here at the right and at the bottom and you can extend to make as many copies as you want and you can even increase or decrease the spacing between them and you can see that in numbers so right now we have 42 pixels between these and you can what you can also do is drag it in another direction so you can see how easy it is to make multiple copies of this same uh, object and you can do the same as I already showed you here. So right here we have 57, for example, and right here we can use 57 as well. So when you have created your repeat grid, this is how it looks like, and you can click somewhere outside. So for example, to here, and you can simply drag it and you can position it however you want. If you think this is too much, you can simply lower the amount you have right here. And let me quickly expand my artboard so you can see it just a bit better. So perhaps to here maybe, like so. And what I want to do now is to simply select more images. So I'm going to select all images from my folder. I'm going to simply drag and drop on this first one. And you can see it's going to populate these images that you see uh, right here. What I'm actually going to do is lower the amount once again. So right up to here, for example, and you can change uh, all of these things individually or you can change them all together. So you can click on this text, for example, and you can move it and it's going to move this text uh, wherever you see it on uh, inside of the repeat grid. So maybe we can make it center aligned. Maybe we can position it to here. Maybe we can move the button to the center like so and maybe we can increase the corner radius of these images to 20 for example and when I click outside you can see that it changed the corner radius for all of our images right here if you want to edit things individually you can do that as well you can double click on this image for example and double click once again you can hold your shift key to position it a bit better you can double click on some of these images to reposition them so for example maybe on this one I want to move it to here and you get the idea if the image is too big like this one for example I can position it uh, independently of all of these other images and all of these other elements inside of our repeat grid. You can also change the colors so for example if I double click right here to jump inside this button if I want to change the colors of all of these buttons I can click right here and then simply change the color to here but because this is not my main instance this is I can jump inside of it and I can change the color right here and as you can see it's going to update all of these colors automatically and it's going to make that change globally 
So just imagine you have 50 different artboards, it's going to apply that change to all of those different artboards and it's going to do that automatically and at the same time. So that's really the main advantage of repeat grid and working with components inside of Adobe XD because it makes your process just a lot more faster, a lot more easier and frictionless so you can get to designing and you don't have to worry about all of those different processes you had to worry in the past. One final thing I want to show you is when you click on this repeat grid, all you can see is this first card that we created because it's located inside of this selection. So when you want to ungroup it, you can click right here and you can hit ungroup grid and you can export it and you can see all of these different cards now and you can play around with them if you want to. So for example, I can move this left and right, whatever I want. I can move it even between these artboards, drag and drop it right here. I can delete it and so on and so forth. So basically all you have to do is create this one, hit repeat grid and then expand and include as many you want and make global changes to that repeat grid as much as you want. In the next video, we are going to talk about guides, so I'll see you there.